Hi, everyone. I'm going to share my screen like I did last time, just to go through the basic slides in case we have some new people. So just a reminder that we do have Walpole Media on the Zoom today. They are recording this to potentially air it on cable, we hope. So if you'd prefer that your image, your face not appear, you can turn off your video for the, oh, I spelled duration wrong, guys. Uh, right there at the bottom, you can turn it off. Christine shared these slides with us on just the basic Zoom how-to. So at the very bottom where you can see the, um, the tool menu, you know, that's your mute feature. We're gonna keep people muted to allow John to provide the information he'd like, and then we'll open it up for additional questions and conversation. That's uh, next to it is the video, how you can turn on and off your video. And then we wanna remind you again that we have a chat feature, which you can use to either chat with everyone or just with one or two people in particular and use that. We'll be monitoring that throughout the, the uh, meeting as well. So that if there's questions that people can't ask uh, or don't feel comfortable speaking, they can put them there and we can send those on to John as well. And here's the view options. We always have a couple questions about how to, how to see everyone. That gallery view option is going to view pictures of everyone that's on the call. We're so um, very happy and grateful to John for his willingness to attend the meeting today and share some of the updates that he has from the veterans. Um, I know he's planning some things for Memorial Day that might be interesting to you. So John, take it away. Hello, can everybody hear me? I go, good. <laughs> um, well, thank you for having me here, Carrie. Uh, I just, I understand not everybody here is veterans, but if uh, some info uh, that can be shared and passed along, that'd be great. Um, you know, this has obviously impacted a lot of different things. It's, I've seen a, a, a lot of increase in calls, for, especially from the younger veterans that were working and have been laid off. Um, you know, just uh, inquiring about benefits and, um, and and trying to get them some assistance. So we've been busy working on that. Uh, and some of the problems have been also has been um, just getting some of the paperwork. I mean, it's hard to do business when we're, we can't interact. And, uh, and I have some, some, some veterans that um, don't have a computer. Um, they don't have uh, access and, and, and some of them don't, really want to leave the house either. So even doing by mails has been a little bit difficult. So, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're adjusting, and, but we're, and we're trying to, um, you know, continue to serve and help the veterans in, in the community, um, but uh, doing the best we can. But uh, yeah, like Carrie was saying, uh, Memorial Day is coming up next month. Uh, we are already been working. We've been in touch with uh, Walpole Media and uh, with, with the Veterans Committee and uh, also the VFW were looking to put together a program so therefore we could um, still honor our veterans on Memorial Day and do so without having, you know, uh, the big gathering and the, and the crowds that we would typically have in the past and, and the support that we've had in the past. So we're still looking at ways to, to, um, to, to honor them um, and to make sure that uh, on Memorial Day that you can also access it uh, through Walpole Media and, and the cable TV. Um, one of the hard things that's been, that's happened through this, this uh, pandemic is, uh, it's been unfortunate as, as we've lost some veterans. Um, I'm sure you've heard about the, the soldiers homes and uh, what's going on over there. Uh, we've lost quite a few veterans. Um, and unfortunately the military honors that uh, takes place when a veteran passes away has all been placed on hold because of this. And so we've been keeping track of um, everything that's been going on. And so, and um, once this whole thing clears, we can get the families together and, and, and do a proper, um, you know, send off and, 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 and honor our veterans that we've lost the, 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 the respectful way. So we're doing that, we're working on Memorial Day and, and those plannings. And even, even, um, even doing the flag swap that we typically do every year, uh, we, we would get 30, 40, 50 volunteers to, uh, to help us replace the over 1,300 flags that we have here in Walpole. Um, if you've driven around, um, you've seen some of the cemeteries, you know, you know this time of year, they've been through some, some wars with the, with the wind and, and the weather and everything. So we typically have gone, gone out there um, sometime in May and, and with a bunch of volunteers, we've, we've replaced them. Well, 
you know, we can't gather a, a lot of volunteers. So um, the Veterans Committee, uh, I've been in touch with them and also the VFW, you know, we're working at how we're gonna, how we're gonna uh, approach this and whether we're gonna stage some boxes in certain, certain areas, keep our distance. Uh, it might take us a few more days to do this just because we won't have all the, 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 the wonderful support that we've had in the past. Um, so that's looking at taking place usually, well, this, this year will probably be about a week before the, uh, the Memorial Day event. Um, and, uh, you know, we also have been taking, I've been taking applications. If, if, if anybody's been up to the VFW in the last couple of years, they've noticed on the side of the building, there's a, a nice memorial project that was started a few years ago by Steve Kenny, former, uh, former commander and uh, Charlie's picked it up and, and ran with it too. Uh, we're still taking applications for memorial br bricks for veterans. Um, you know, I have one up there myself, honoring myself, my father and my son who uh, served. So that's, that's, if you're interested or if you have any questions about that, you can always give me a call and um, I can give you the information on the application. There is, um, there's also, if you haven't heard, there's also a food for vets program that's been going on for about, well, about three or four weeks now. That's been going on at Gillette Stadium. It's kind of like a drive-through thing. It's, they used, they were doing Monday through Friday, but now it's, it's just Monday and Wednesdays from 10 in the morning to two in, in the afternoon. And that's basically been running like a drive-through. You don't have to get out of your vehicle. And you just basically, you, 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 like you're going to the movie theater, but you'll see the signs. They have these trailers set up where these veter veterans, you don't have to prove, you don't have to show any identification. You just drive through this drive through and um, they'll load a, a box of um, non-perishable items into your vehicle. It's a really great program. It's uh, funded by the uh, Mass Military Support Foundation. Um, once again, after this is done, if you have any questions or whatever, you can, you can ask me. Um, or you can, uh, if you want further information, I can, you can call me directly. But, um, you know, it's just been, uh, it's been, it's been, uh, it's, yeah, as everybody knows, it's been uh, not the greatest of times, but, you know, we're making it through there. Uh, speaking of which, the VA, uh, VA Healthcare, they started booking appointments again. It used to be for just emergency uh, situations only, but now they started scheduling regular appointments um, starting July 1st. So, um, I, in fact, actually, when I was waiting to jump on, VA called me to, to schedule an appointment uh, July 20th or something like that. But uh, so I won't be at work carrier that day. Um, but uh, so they're starting to schedule like hearing appointments, other things like that. So if you know or if you have a veteran um, that's been using the VA healthcare system, excellent system, um, you, can, you can start making appointments. They're starting to book those appointments now. Um, Claims are still being processed for the veterans and, um, you yeah, know, just staying busy. Thanks, John. I can think of a follow-up question right there about them um, taking appointments again. Are they going to be offering transportation like they traditionally did or are they holding off on that for a bit? Um, that's a good question. I haven't gotten any emails. Yeah, in the past, we've had the RSVP program uh, taking taking people to and from appointments. I would have to say, just personally, I would have to say it's been suspended um, because of you know the ride sharing and, and having two people in the car. I, I would I would I would guess that would be suspended, but I can I can find that out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good question. I'm sure. Can, um, right, ready yet? Sorry. Debbie. To the RSVP volunteers, um, they actually have, in some very specific circumstances, continued providing transportation. Um, you know, as, as protecting themselves as much as they can. There are a couple of situations with um, dialysis that were really just very vital um, that people continue getting in there for those appointments. So I would say a case by case basis. If the volunteers are feeling comfortable and um, the um, veteran um, feels comfortable and it's needed to reach out. Any other questions for John while we have him? He's I like Jerry's back. so hard, guys. <laughs> yeah, that needed to get changed today. <laughs> I think we get a question. Uh, 
on iPad 2. <laughs> Linda. You're going to have to unmute yourself, Linda. There you go. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. I was wondering if there was going to be the placement of the flags and the graves, if you had anything to do with that or if you know anything about it. Yes. You know how uh, they put all the, the flags on the, on the veterans' graves? Mm -hmm. uh, and I was wondering if that was going to happen. Yes, yeah. We're, that's what we're going to We're going to be doing that probably about a week before myself um, and, and some of the members of the Veterans Committee, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have that done prior to Memorial Day. Okay. Because if they're looking for volunteers, you know, to help, I know some years they do, but yeah. it's, I don't know if I qualify <laughs> to volunteer. <laughs> yeah, no, that, like I, was, I mentioned earlier, they, uh, we're, we're trying to um, just try to trying to keep our distance and and, and trust me, oh, I love okay. the volunteers. In the past, we've had so many volunteers in the past, uh, but right. uh, we're just trying to limit the number of the people that, that come in contact with right now. And um, you know, I know it's a, it's a few weeks away, and, and there may be right. changes, but uh, we're just we're, we're planning as it, it may be the same as it is right now. I know. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? John, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. I've been at the center and John is there all the time, even though he's continuing to share with me, you're still split between the two towns, which during this time I can't even imagine. Um, oh, Jerry's standing to clap for you. <laughs> That's great. He's been working hard for our veterans in very uncertain times with a, a large quantity of additional claims coming in due to the nature of what's happening. So thanks, John. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank, thank you for having me. It's nice to see some of the faces again. I know. Isn't it great to see them? Yeah. yeah. I know Jerry can't wait to get upstairs. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the part of our, our call where we usually open it up so you guys can have some conversations together and chat and catch up with one another. We can unmute you, but just try and, you know, take turns talking and checking in. Hi, Gloria. I, I don't really call this my coffee hour because I don't drink coffee. So I call, <laughs> I call it my Pepsi hour because I'm drinking Pepsi. <laughs> I just want to say hi to everybody. It's so good to see faces. Hi, Sarah. Hey. You all look so good. I also want to say the same thing that Sarah just said, because it's, it is nice to see everybody. And this is the only opportunity that we get is on Mondays and, and, um, and Thursdays to be able to see everybody. And, you know, and it's, Really nice to be able to see everybody. Hi, Mary. Oh, Hi, Mary. I'm mute, Mary. You made a face, Matt? I'm got trouble unmuting her. I can't do it. You're going to have to tell, you're going to have to try and explain to her. Or tell her how to unmute herself because that was what I did was I unmuted myself. Mary, down the bottom of your screen, there's a little menu with a microphone on the bottom left. And if you click that little button, it'll unmute you so we can hear you. If you put your, if you're on the computer, Mary, and she's unmuted. She's unmuted. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I was just showing you the the mask that I've been making. Yeah. I got to do some other colors too. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. So you have elastic and fabric. Yep, fabric and elastic. Yeah. That's great. And I have the directions, and I go. Step by step, and then put that around here. Yeah. 
That's great, Mary. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I had to go to Staples here yesterday because I needed some envelopes and some ink for my printer. And I was wearing the mask and it just made me sick that, you know, like I just couldn't stay in the store um, any longer and I had to go out to the car and just kind of like rest because it, it would just make me sick. It's hard to breathe through them when you're out in the world for a, a period of time. Yeah, I've yeah. heard that from other people that it's difficult. Even the, even, even, the manor, even the manager that was helping us because my wife needs a printer now for her work. So we were looking at printers and I was trying to show her the same printer that I have and she wound up, she was going to buy one just a little bit smaller than mine, but no store had them in stock. So she wound up getting the same one that I have, which is a very good printer because she needs to make copies, but I was just getting too sick that I couldn't stay in the store anymore. Are other people finding it okay to get out of the store now? Well, the um, on Facebook they showed you how to make a mask that'll repair it out of a sock. That sounds really difficult to breathe through, though, doesn't it? Depending. No, on it, it's not that bad. No? And Jerry, I'm a Pepsi person too. I don't <laughs> drink coffee either. <laughs> Just cut off the end and it's not bad. Hi, Bob, unmute yourself there. Hi, hi, Karen. Hi, everyone. I have a question. How are, how are my friends doing on the scene of Vienna? Are they getting, are they doing okay? How are your friends doing on the van? Yes, the seniors. Are they doing all okay? Our vans are not currently bringing anyone anywhere. Oh, no, but are they getting food okay? Yes. So okay. we brought uh, boxes of food and bags of perishable items to 120 households earlier this week on Tuesday. Um, I can pull up the total numbers for you. Hold on one. Second. Well, I was just I was just interested to make sure they were doing okay. That's all. Well, if you know of somebody, if you hear of anyone that could use something, it's not the same as going shopping, but we can bring them. Some Basic necessities and some fresh items like milk and eggs to, to sustain them uh, for a period of time so that they don't have to go out or if they do it's less frequent um, but we've brought those out to 120 this week 119 the last time 92 and 80 different households now I don't know that they're all unique. they're a lot of the same people but that number is starting to grow and the total number is increasing as well so we're trying to do what we can to keep them at home and safe, but also have the things that they need. A lot of people are being supported by their families. People are, or neighbors are picking things up for them. But for people that don't really have that option, we're here and we're still doing this. So we'll be doing it again in two weeks. So if you okay. hear of anyone, just tell them to give us a call for anything, not even just food, anything they might need. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. If you have other ideas for things we can do to help out in the community, let us know. Without knowing what the needs are, it's difficult to provide the service. So let us know what you think people might need. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We're looking forward to eventually seeing you on the bus again, Bob. <laughs> Someday. Thank you. I, I really don't think it, the... Uh... I, I really don't think the center is going to open up until um, maybe, maybe July, August. I don't know. You know nobody, nobody knows. I mean, like, I was listening to the governor and he moved his um, opening of the economy from May 4th to May 18th. But I, I think even May 18th is going to be too soon. And I don't think the economy is going to open up until maybe, maybe July. I don't, I don't think it's going to open up May 18th. I don't think it's going to open in June. You know, because there's still people that are still sick with this COVID-19. And, and there's, 
you know, that I, I, I guess from what the governor said, the number is going down because they had like 30,000 the other day and today was up to about 17,000. So it's gone down. But still, you know, there's still a lot of people. You know, so I don't think the economy is going to open up until maybe, if we're lucky, maybe around about July, maybe the middle of July. And I, I don't think Terry's going to open up until July or August. I don't, I don't, I don't really see the sign of I, for one, really appreciate the fact that we're all on the Zoom and at least we can see one another, you know, because, um, I mean, that to me means more to me than just being there, you know, because at least we can see everybody and be able to offer comments and everything and we can talk about different things. And, and, and this really means a lot to me. I can't speak for everybody, but it, it does mean a lot to me um, that I can see everybody. We like it too, because we miss seeing all of you. It's not the same. And when we are at the center, it's so quiet without you guys. It just doesn't feel the same at all. Uh, we can't wait to open either, Jerry, but I just don't, I don't have any answers right now at all that I can provide. Uh, there's just been no direction. I think we've got to at least move into that phase one where we can even begin to think about it. But as a team, we've started thinking about what it might look like, but it's it's just so soon um, to, to determine anything. Yeah. Hang in there. You know, we'll I, share information when we can and when we have better dates. I, I, really, I really think when everybody comes back, I think we're all going to have to wear a mask um, and, and everything. And I just think that everything's going to be very different. I mean, I, I, I don't even know how, how we're going to be able to play pool because everybody has their hands on the balls and everybody handles different sticks. So I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know how people are going to play Mahjong, be able to play cards because everybody's got their hands on, on everything and how they're going to handle the painting classes because everybody's got their hands on, on the different paintbrushes and everything. So I really don't know how things are going to look and, and, and what, what's going to happen. I'm sure you guys don't either. Not yet. No. But, but I want to reassure you that we're thinking about mm -hmm. it and trying to make sure that when we can open, we have a really good plan to keep everyone safe and do what we can to help everyone come back in some way. I mean, like, there's going to be a lot of people that we're still going to have to keep our distance from, but when you play Mahjong, everybody's together, and, and the room is going to be with, with more than 10 people in it. The same thing with pool, it'll be with more, more than 10 people in there. You know, because sometimes even around the pool tables, we get 12, maybe 15 guys there. Have you done anything about the third pool table yet, Carrie, or no? In a time like this, I don't think that's something we can do right now. Uh, we're on a, a budget phase. It's an emergency status right now. So there is no purchases that can be made. Oh. Uh, so no, we haven't. So the shuffleboard is still in the center. It's just as you left it. Nothing, not even, not a ball, not a stick, nothing. <laughs> no one touched the thing. Are you guys still get, giving out food on Fridays? We're doing a home delivered pickup model that happens every other week on Tuesdays now. Um, oh, okay. Still, still helping us. I know. I know I got stuck in the parking lot um, March 13th when, um, because it was on a Friday and, and I couldn't get out of my, I got out of my space, but I couldn't, I couldn't leave until the line started to move. So I had to wait about 15, 20 minutes until I could finally sneak through the line and, ah, oh, the line's moving. How's everyone else doing out there? 
You got no, we... hanging in okay? What are the most yeah. challenging I... things you're dealing with? It was nice yesterday to see you had that little parade for, of cars for Paul Nolan at his birthday yesterday. Did the police and the fire come? Yes, they did. There were three fire, uh, two fire trucks led the parade in about 50 uh, more cars later, there were three police cruisers. And They're it was- busy, on top oh. of being busy. And his, his family was there out at the end of his driveway and they were gonna have it. And people had signs, everyone signed a big sign. So the neighbors had a big sign, happy birthday. And we all, you know, signed our names and everything and anybody else that wanted to. I Please didn't go in there. that with us when you know that they're going to be coming by a senior's house. We don't always get that notification. I would have loved to have gone through. And then like the, one of the three step lessons, Sacrament was there and the lady that does the organ, you know, the youth choir at Blessed Sacrament, she was there. It was nice. That's great. Yeah, they, they all, um, they organized at the senior center. They met at 10 minutes to five at the parking lot there. They did? And, yeah, and that, that um, the senior citizen parking lot was chock full, and so was in the parking lot across the street. And then the, the fire department and the police department lined everybody up, and they just went right down the street, and they came in his neighborhood, and they went through his neighborhood, and they, everybody that could walk there, I walked there. I didn't want to get in the in the line because there was no point. I just had to walk around the corner and I was there. And it, it was, but it was here any others for some of our friends because we would, I know that some of us, if we can, would love to hop into line and, and say happy birthday to some of our friends. Yeah. We'll probably yeah. hear more than we will. Please let us know. Right. Larry, can I ask you a question? Are you home or are you at the senior center? Right now? I'm home right now. Oh, no, because I was wondering what's behind you. You have some kind of a board behind you. It's a, it's a letter board. Oh, okay. Write different okay. things and... I thought maybe you were there at the, at the senior center there in your office. But... I have some bored children. Oh, okay. If they tell me their board will be cleaning. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I just want to do a quick update on some things coming up um, for next week. Uh, we're going to be adding Chair Yoga with Robin Tuesdays at 10 a.m. through a Zoom meeting. So you guys can tune into that. Um, we still have our Zumba with Mimi on Mondays at 10 and uh, Thursdays at 3. And then Western Gunslingers will still be Monday at 11 o'clock. And then our... Um, our Wheel of Fortune will be Tuesdays at 11. Workout with Steve will be a Facebook Live Wednesday at 11. And then we also have Jody from Whitney Place who's gonna do a presentation on busting myths and getting savvy about senior living Wednesday at noontime with the Zoom meeting. And then on Thursday, we have yoga with Renee at 11 with Facebook Live. Um, we'll do our coffee and conversation again next week on Thursday at one, um, and then sit and be fit with Renee on Fridays at 11. So that's how next week is shaping up to look. Gary, I have a question about that. What about people that don't have access to Facebook, Zoom, or a computer? Does Walpole Media Cable, are they doing any exercises? Are they broadcasting any of the events we're doing? We have some things already on cable that they're uh -huh. broadcasting. So some of our instructors, we have to get permission from our instructors that they're okay being recorded. Some are, some are not. So um, the one that, the oh. presentation that Jody's gonna do next week, we're gonna record that. Um, okay. So it, it is a little bit harder for people who don't have technology, um, but we're doing our best to get things on cable. The cable schedule yeah. now, and the virtual programming schedule are both available on our website if you want to have it as a handy reference to Linda. Oh, okay. How do I access that? Because I need to, for a friend of mine that... It's through the, um, the Walpole 
town website. If you go to Council on Aging there, you'll see that those are all options in the left hand. Oh, bar. Okay. okay, I'll get it. Okay, thanks. And a nice handy reference right there. This is Tamara from Walpole Media, and I can tell you that we are airing exercise classes every morning at 10 a.m. But if there's anything, any information that anyone wants, if you um, want to ask me a question or have an idea for a program, please feel free to contact me. You can get my email address through Kerry. Um, but we're here to air and, and record anything that you think might be interesting. Jerry, what did you say is going to be next Tuesday? You said something about some kind of a meeting for next Tuesday? Um, on Tuesday, we have Chair Yoga with Robin, Wheel of Fortune. On Wednesday, we have Busting Myths and Getting Savvy About Senior Living with Jody from Whitney Place. That's at noontime, and that's a Zoom meeting. <laughs> Information will be emailed out and on Facebook as well. It looks like Joanne has her hand up for a question. Okay, so we will get an email here before next week. Debbie will send out an email. Thank and you, you'll Debbie. get a robocall. <laughs> no, you know, because I'm trying to keep up with these Zoom meetings and stuff because I, it gives me a chance to see everybody and just know what you guys are doing. I have another meeting that I scheduled for myself this afternoon from our temple that's also going to be on the Zoom. So that's going to be at four o'clock this afternoon. So it's going to be similar to this, but it just be with all of our temple members. Joanne, I'm not sure if you have a question. Your hand is raised, but you're, you're muted. If you want to unmute yourself, if you have a question. Oh, okay. Now I'm unmuted, right? <laughs> you are. Go ahead. Uh, okay. I've been talking to myself, I think. Uh, uh, um, how do I get my picture here? Not that I want my picture here, but all I see is the two white circles. You would have to, down at the bottom, there's an option to start video. That video. It's okay. On the, on the left-hand side. Um, yeah, it's on the top. There she is. Down there where it says stop video, and if you hit she's, that. She's got it, Jerry. Thank she's you, there. Jerry. Oh, okay, okay, she's got it. I couldn't figure out how to get in. I was trying to get in with the old number. <laughs> so I finally I finally went back in the emails and found that all I had to do was click something, right? So, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Oh. Ah. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm proud to say that my daughter organized that drive through for Paul Nolan yesterday. And um, it, oh. all happened. It, it was all one of those last kind of minute things that, um, and so many people turned out. And actually, I guess other people got involved like the Knights of Columbus called their members. And Paul is involved in so many different things. Uh, I think it really started because of the bell choir, my daughter here in the bell choir. Um, and she was startled when so many people showed up and it was wonderful. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have thought to call the senior center, but as I say, it was a last minute. In fact, Pat Kelleher will tell you that I just told her like 20 minutes of five, <laughs> uh, and she lives across the hall from me, and that's how I happened to see her and told her she wanted, asked her if she wanted to join this birthday drive-by. Paul turned 90 yesterday, which is hard to believe because Paul is so active. Uh, so many of the neighbors came out also. The neighborhood um, is great. I saw Gloria there. And um, even the Walpole food bag truck. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, the, if anyone is on Facebook, they did record it. So I did see the whole parade. It was like six minutes. And you're right, Joanne, the Walpole food truck was there. And I just, I loved seeing Paul. He was so happy. That was so wonderful of your daughter to do that. The, the Walpole food truck just happened to show up at the same time. So oh. Diane, my daughter, went over and asked him if they'd like to get in the parade. <laughs> so I'm sure Paul must have been delighted to see that. It's very hard to believe that Paul is 90 because he has that little motorized scooter he runs around on and everything. Very active person and always a very great person. I knew Paul since we were 
lived in with grew up in West Roxbury, and I, I didn't know him that well, but he and I both had bright red hair. <laughs> Debbie, who put it on Facebook? I think that um, was it on Facebook. I'm not sure who posted it, but it was in um I guess it was probably Walpole Bolton or one of those sites that had popped up. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to go hunt for it too. I'd love to see it. Very sweet. Did the veterans agent show up today? He's here. Hey. Oh, he's here. Hello. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. Thank you. Okay. You're a busy man, right? I am. I'm, I um, I was just actually going to say goodbye because I got to run out. Um, but it was actually it was really nice seeing everybody's faces. Is uh, yeah, it's it's crazy time. But uh, it's really nice to see some of your faces again. All of your faces again. <laughs> Thanks again. John, it was good to see you, and yeah, it, it was good to get all your information. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, you guys take care. Hope to see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, John. Thank you. Bye. Nobody has anything to say. <laughs> I want to ask Phil <laughs> if Phil is still practicing his trumpet. Are you still practicing your trumpet, Phil? Yes? I can't hear you. We, we can't hear you, Phil. We can see you, but we can't hear you. Go down there on the left hand side to your mic and unmute yourself. Down there at the bottom. You have to unmute yourself. I think he's unmuted. I think maybe he's unmuted, yeah. I'll click on your picture at the top and it says mute and unmute too. I think down in that um microphone window there's an option to test your microphone if you click the little up arrow next to it one of the options in there is test i have frequent issues with my headphone 90 percent i can't hear him can you hear me now all right yes I, I've got some news to pass on. Uh, my neighbor who was furloughed from his job about three weeks ago, he made 20 to 25 birdhouses that he was given to Walpole residents. Okay. And uh, within the first two hours, they were gone. Yeah. So, so he did it again uh, the second weekend, and they were gone within the same time frame. So... Uh, he started another batch. I don't know when he's going to put them out, but the good thing about it is that they're all free. So they're all free. So you just got to watch when he puts it out on um, uh, either Facebook or some, some other way, maybe Twitter. But they, 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 they're usually gone within the hour. So anyway, that's, that's a nice thing that he's doing for the residents of Walpole. Walpole lately has made the news because um, in the past three storms, either a phone um, a, a phone call has, has come down and there's been like two trees that have hit. One, one tree really did a lot of damage to their family's car that had really crushed the roof in and, and, and everything that the car was useless. But the, and, the, and another tree did some damage on, on the house too. So Channel 5, I, I don't know about the other channels because we watch Channel 5, but Channel, it, but Waffle has been making the news on Channel 5 about all these different storms and, and coming from Walpole. So it's kind of interesting. So we noticed that article and we were just talking about it and how you know, we, it might be a good thing to try and encourage some of our seniors to create some simple bird feeders and things in their windows and out in their yards. So what a nice thing for your neighbor to do. Yes, he's, um, he's, very, he's, he's very talented and, and they're very professional. They'll last for like 20 years in your yard, maybe more. I, I had to take a couple down 
And when I were taking them down, they were all rotted. And I replaced them with two of them that he gave me only because I was the neighbor. He's only given one out per person. But he saw the two ones that I had that were rotted really bad. And he said that the, these should last my lifetime. <laughs> and he's very talented. He's got, he's, he's got just all kinds of different designs, too. Uh, I think I sent a picture of it to Debbie. And um, as you can see, if she finds it again, what talent does he have? And, you know, and they're, very, he, he, they're very thick, which, which is nice. Mm. So anyway. I, to keep your I, saw, I saw them on Facebook. It was really, he had a lot out there. But they looked really nice. Yeah, he, like I said, three weekends ago, they were gone within the hour. Yeah. And then two weekends ago, they were gone the same amount of time. Uh, he has problems with his knee right now, but uh, he's, he's building more. I know that because I, you know, I can see him in his, his garage and his workshop, and I hear all the machines <laughs> going. So he's building more. What street is that? Say, uh, say that again? What street is he on? Heather Lane. Heather Lane. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah. 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 Very that's nice. Where, that's where my wife Judy lives. Gloria. Oh, oh that's right. Oh my God. <laughs> I know you. Yes. I just got my audio. I, I've been listening to everybody, but I couldn't get in. I don't know what I do wrong. But anyway, yeah, say hi yeah. to her. She I doing will, okay? Yeah. How's your how's your um uh dominoes going? We're not playing. No, I Nobody know that, gets but, together. Oh, but when it's you awful. Did, but when you did play, how was it going? Oh, it's great. It's great. great. She, she wins all the time, but no, that's no, okay. No, 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 no. It's okay. Anyway. It's, still, it's so much fun. I miss them. Yeah, I miss all the girls. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Now you know how you do, though, Gloria. Get them to Zoom with you. You can have some girls show, social. Yes. Hey, that's that's true. I should do that. I still have. I got. I didn't get in until one o eight because I've just. <clears throat> I need a class. <laughs> that's all anyway. right, Gloria. That's all right, yeah. Gloria. I just I was just able to set mine up about an hour or so ago. I'm, I was hoping it would work, so it does work. Yeah. Oh boy. No, I, I my daughter set it up, but I, I couldn't get the vocal. But that's all right. Okay. It's I'm nice serious. seeing everybody. Same I'm going here. to leave now and try to get something done. Ha, ha, ha. Same here. <laughs> Again, next week, we're going to have the chief on from the police department. Chief Carmine oh. is making some time for us, so I'm sure that'll be a big call. He's always so good to you guys. And same, when is that, next week? Same bat time, same bat channel, right here. Okay, same okay. Time. I don't know okay. how to this time, but I was able to get in and get my picture up, but I had no idea how I did it, so... <laughs> But that'll be interesting next week. Just do it again. Yeah. Yeah, keep doing it. Yeah, I have the Zoom. Hi, everybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave. Yeah. Me too. Me too. See you Me too. Have, have a good week. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Bye.